Hey everyone, my name is Hughes, that's G U U S, with today a short but hopefully helpful video for all of you who would like to switch running shoes brand but are still a little bit insecure about what size of running shoes to get. But first, let's go for a really quick run. Beautiful weather out there on today's run. I don't want to say it too loudly because it might snow again in a couple of days, but I think at least the beginning of Swedish spring is finally here and that's really, really nice. What is not so nice is that I started feeling my injuries a little bit again, mainly the ankle and uh, heel area, but I'm going to the physiotherapist and I am hopeful that they will be able to help me through this. So I'm positive that in the future i will be able to run pain and frustration free again because yes running can be frustrating as nice as it can be it can also be really annoying so let me help you try and make it as comfortable as possible in particular today we'll be talking about running shoe sizes because we've all been in this scenario where we've had a running shoe for a while and we like it but we're also a bit curious about what other brands might have to offer. And converting shoe sizes between brands can be quite a struggle. At the same time, there's still a pandemic going on, or maybe you've seen uh, the shoe that you're interested in on sale online and you don't have the option to fit it in store. So I've generated a number of graphs to help you out converting running shoe sizes from one brand to another. Of course, in an ideal scenario, uh, a brand conversion looks something like this. A straight line where, in my case for instance, a size 8.5 in New Balance overlaps with a size 8.5 uh, for Saucony. In some cases it's not as straightforward though. Look for instance at this example between Brooks and Skechers, where we can see that for me an 8.5, which is my size, in Brooks actually converts to a size 9 in Skechers. And this disconnect between shoe sizes seems to be particularly the case uh, with US shoe sizes where one brand doesn't have the same size indicators as other brands. Uh, when looking at EU shoe sizes, this seems to align much more. And this is very important to realize because that is essentially how this little graph or the graphs that you'll be able to access in a little bit uh, how these work. Let's use the example that we just had. This is the Brooks. It's a US 8.5. What I go and do is I'm going to go and look at the EU size of this running shoe. So I look into the little, the little tongue of the shoe and I see, okay, it's a 42 EU. Then I'm interested in buying a Skechers shoe. So I go towards the Skechers, uh, yeah, towards the Skechers store or wherever you want to buy your running shoes. I look, okay, I want a 42 EU because that overlaps with my Brooks shoe. And then I look at the US size and it turns out that that's a nine. So that's how I managed to generate these graphs simply based on the running shoe size charts, which I got of the running warehouse website. So how to find the conversion that you need? Simply go to the Google Drive that I have linked in the description down below. So the first thing you're gonna have to pick is a reference size. This shouldn't be the size that you're actually interested in. Uh, and there's two options here. So you have EU, which I already said. So like the example, we look at the EU size and like that we match uh, two US sizes to each other. 
I've also included the centimeter size, but uh, this isn't as ideal because not all running shoes brands provide the centimeter size, so there's less brands available. So if you need a US to US or UK to UK conversion, definitely use uh, the one that I've labeled number one, which is European sizes, since they seem to align pretty well. So once you've picked uh, your matching size, in this case EU, you can pick the size that you're actually interested in. If you've picked EU, the other options for this are uh, US and UK. So go and pick US and then try and find the matching between the brands that you're interested in. I should point out that um, every brand or every combination of brands is only there once. So if you have Brooks and Skechers, there's not also Skechers and Brooks. So you should see which uh, brand actually has is the first in the alphabet. And that should be the brand that the file name starts with. And then simply do what we've been doing in this video. So look at the axis that represents the brand of the shoe that you already own. Find your size follow it either to the right or up depending on the axis that you find and as you hit the diagonal you go in the opposite direction so you go either to the left or you go down depending on where you came from and that should be the match for the shoe size of the brand that you're interested in of course this might not be 100 percent accurate this is simply based on the numbers that i found on the running uh, warehouse website at the same time, I haven't validated these. I did with my own running shoes and they seem to be really accurate, but for your size, it might vary a little bit more. Just use this as a guide in case you aren't able to go to the running store because of the pandemic or because you want to buy your new shoes online, then I think this tool might be very helpful to you. In the perfect scenario, go out there to a running store, try the shoes on and see if they fit well. But if you don't have that option, I'm happy to help out. All right, if you thought this video was helpful, be sure to actually let me know by leaving a like down below. If you have any questions or you would like to see the code that I use to generate all these different graphs, it's a little bit of a mess, but if you want to, you can. Just let me know in the comments down below. Be sure to stick around by subscribing to my YouTube channel for more running tips and content, as well as some tech content as well, but all related to sports and running. But thank you so much for watching. You just keep on rolling, and then you'll see me again in the next one. Bye-bye.